So if you take a look at the questions that we're doing today, we got two of them, that, one of them that I'm going to kind of do with you, and then one that I'm going to have you do on your own, where it says, here's our series. We've got a kind of a big list of numbers with pluses, and it says, find the sum of the first 30 numbers, 30 terms. So some of you might be thinking, well, one way I could do that is I could just list out all the numbers, right? If I figure out what the pattern is, I could list out 30 numbers, I could grab my calculator, and I could kind of add them all up. Right? It really wouldn't be very much fun, but if, if you needed to do it, we could do it. I don't know why I said that. Um, so what we're going to try to do instead is we're going to use this formula up here that I would consider kind of like a shortcut so that I don't have to list out all 30 terms and I don't have to physically add them up. I'm going to be able to use that formula and it's going to kind of add them all up for me within the formula. Okay? So that's kind of our big idea. So what we're going to do first is we're going to label the parts of the formula. So on the left side, it says SN, and the S stands for sum, so it means we're going to be adding stuff up. So sum of, let me put N kind of in quotes here, sum of, sum of M, N terms. So N is how many terms we're trying to add up. Like in this case, when we want to find the sum of the first 30 terms, that means my N is 30. If I wanted to find the sum of the ter first 100 terms, then n would be 100. Okay. So really, what this is, I'm going to actually have you add over here. This is really like the answer. That's kind of the part of it that we're trying to figure out. So over on the other side are the things that we're going to kind of know that we have to plug in there. So n, what do you think that stands for? So, so in question number one, the n is going to be 30. What do you think the n stands for? The n value. Okay. So if I want to find the sum of the first 30 terms, that's my n value. That's kind of the number that we are adding up. So if I want to find the sum of the first 100 terms, then my n value is 100. If I want to find the sum of the first 50 terms, then the n value is 50. Okay, so that that'll be given to you in the question. We'll kind of know what that number is. Um, what about a sub one? What's the definition of a sub one? We've had this a whole bunch of times before. A one means what? Exponent. No. Oh, okay. um, right. It's just the first term. A sub yeah. one is the first term. Yeah. Wait first term. Okay. A sub 2 would be the second term. Right, thank you. A sub 3, third term. Okay, so hopefully we kind of know that notation a little bit. The little subscript is kind of which term we're talking about. Now, this part right here is the part we're going to have to kind of talk about a little bit. So A sub n is what we would call our sequence rule. So today we're working with arithmetic series. And so my rule, my sequence rule that I'm going to use is the one for an arithmetic sequence. So what we're going to actually have to do is we're going to have to kind of plug a formula into the formula that we already have. So I'm going to write here what my formula is for a sub n. a1 plus n minus 1 times d. And we'll kind of get all these formulas together once we do the first question. Now, the good news is, and I think I said this before, you guys don't have to memorize any of these formulas. We're eventually going to have four, and when we do our quiz at the end of the week, you'll have like a little sheet of paper that's going to have all four of them on it. What you will have to know is kind of when to use, right, which one goes to what. So if I give you a question, you've got to be able to pick which formula I'm going to use for that question. Okay? So let's look at this question. So again, the question's asking me to find the sum of the first 30 terms. If the formula seems confusing to you, you could always do this the long way. I could write out 30 terms once I realize the pattern. I could grab my calculator and I could add them up. The formula is supposed to be kind of an easy way to do it so that I don't have to kind of write them all out. Uh -huh. Okay? So what I'm going to do is let's start with writing the formula down here again. But when I rewrite it, I'm going to kind of substitute the formula for a sequence rule in place of the AN. Okay? So I'm just going to kind of copy this formula down again. And I'm going to write a1, because there's an a1 right there. But then in place of a sub n, I'm going to put this part of the formula. 
Okay, so that's one of our formulas that we had earlier because we have two different types of sequence rules. I'm just going to copy that formula down. A1 plus N minus 1 times D. Now, what's kind of weird with this formula is we've got A1 in there twice, right? Because there's one of them that was part of this sum formula, and then there's one of them that we had to kind of add in because it's part of the sequence rule. So for what we're doing today, that's always going to be the case where I really have A1 in the answer twice. Okay? So now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and actually plug some numbers in. So the question's asking me to find the sum of the first 30 terms, so I'm trying to find S sub 30. Okay? So that number was given to me because it's how many terms I'm trying to add up. What number are we going to put in for N right here? 30. And then I've got parentheses. What's going to go in for A1? Four. Four plus, what do you think? Four. Four, good. Plus, parentheses, N minus 1. What's my N? 30 minus 1. And then what's our D value for this question? Three. Yes, I heard a few people say three. How did we get three? Yep, so I'm looking at the series. Remember the D value is what are the numbers going up or down by? So to go from 4 to 7, I'm plusing 3. From 7 to 10, plus 3. 10 to 13, plus 3. That's the number that's going in right here is a 3. Okay, so that's, I would say, kind of the one number from this formula that you got to do a little bit of thinking to come up with. Okay, but we kind of already know how to do that because we've been doing it. I can take a term and subtract what's in front of it if it's one that I can't do in my head. Yep. So so how did I get that from the top? So what I did, so the first part of this was the A1, right? And we wrote down the A1. And then what I had to do, and maybe I should have put it in a different color. So this AN right here, I substituted my AN formula that we've been working with for the last week and a half. So all of this is kind of right here. So instead of writing it as AN, I wrote down what the AN formula is. Kind of like we needed to take one formula and plug in another one. Okay. So maybe what I'll do, because I see kind of a blank look a little bit, is when I write it on the formula sheet, I would just automatically write it for you guys like this. I think that might make it a little bit easier. Okay. So what I want you guys to try right now is to take all of this and put it in your calculator, and you've got kind of a choice. What I might do is I might put this stuff on the top, and you can, you can always do some of the math in your head so you have less to type in. Like I can add the 4 plus 4 and make it 8 if I want to or I can have the calculator do it. I can subtract the 30 minus 1, or I can have the calculator do it. Okay, so let me give everybody a minute to kind of work on that. Is that the final answer? Or? Whatever number you get is the final answer, yep. Well. Plug that all in our calculator. Plug it all in your calculator. You can decide if you want to do it in little parts, or if you want to try putting it all in at once. It should be okay to put it in once, but all that stuff on the top you want in its own parentheses. Yeah, so I so if you're doing it in parts, I would put everything on the top and get a number and then divide it by two. Okay. And then multiply by thirty. I got the answer. Um okay, so the question was do I need parentheses in front of the thirty? I would say yes. Yeah, uh, the other 30. This thirty. Yeah. Um not necessarily. Yeah, you probably will. If you're doing this all at once, yeah. 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 Uh, okay. 14. Thir 30 is how many terms we want to find the sum of. So that number should be given to you. All right, somebody want to tell me what number they got? 1,425. Yes. Whoa. 1,425. You can kind of do it in parts, or you can kind of do it. So what I'm going to do for the next one is I'm just going to write the formula down again. And I'm going to write it with kind of all the parts in here. So N, A1 plus A1 plus N minus 1 times D all over 2. So I want you guys to kind of try this on your own. Figure out all the things that get plugged in there. And then go ahead and kind of finish it and put it on your calculator. And we'll see what numbers we get. Yep, that means... Oh, uh, all right. L let me kind of write a little bit down so we can kind of see if we have the right numbers. 
All right, so for this question, we're finding S sub 14, because it's the sum of the first 14 numbers. What do we plug in for N? 14. What's our A1? 11. So I've got two of them. That's going to happen every single time. 11 plus 11. What's our N here? 14. And then what's our D? Negative 5. So, right. Yeah, so some of you, if you're getting a different answer maybe than the person next to you, it looks like a few people were using positive. You really have to think about, are the numbers going up or down? In this case, they're going down 5, so my D here should be negative. So as far as how you're typing that on the calculator, you guys can either put it next to that other parentheses in its own parentheses, or I can put times negative 5, and then it doesn't need its own parentheses. All right, somebody want to share what they get for an answer? Negative 301. If you got 602, I bet you forgot to divide by 2. Yeah, I did. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so it should be negative 301. Oh, yeah, yeah, I got No. So if you didn't get that, let me kind of maybe take a look at your calculators. 